Hello friends, it is a Costco shopping day. I actually tried to come four days ago. I got to Costco, I went to go in and their computers were down, they weren't letting anybody in. It was kind of a blessing in disguise because everybody that was in the store just had to wait around and then the line I saw on Facebook was like to the back of the store. So I'm glad I wasn't in there when they shut it down. I was able just to go get what I needed for our gender reveal. Did you see we're having twins and we did a gender reveal? If not, go back and check that out. It was magical. Um, but I was able to get what I needed just at the grocery store, but now I had to come back for the rest of the groceries. So let's get in and do our weekly Costco shopping. We have had so much rain again lately. Just happy it's not pouring right now that I can get some groceries and hopefully put them in the car without it raining, we'll see. Okay, I walked in and they've got the costumes right here at the front and Halloween. I haven't seen these before, that's it. Spooky fruit bites, only two ingredients, mango and banana. Whoop. A little bit healthier Halloween treat. And then of course you're just, you know, chocolate bag. I choose. I've never seen them have this full-size candy bar. Butterfinger Crunch, 100 grand, and Baby Ruth. That must be a Halloween special. This is a new product that I, one of our viewers told us about. Green chili cornbread for $6.99. But it's really tasty. Starting to get their long johns in for winter. They have the kids set. And this gets you pants and a shirt for $9.99. Kind of hard to beat that when kids grow so fast. We're in full hunting mode around here. So they've got the trail cam for a hundred bucks. Binoculars, $169. Game bags. These are for putting your meat in when you go hunting so that you can transport it back home and keep it clean. And over here they've got your vacuum sealing bags and the chamber vacuum sealer next thing over they have a bunch of freezers so they're making sure people are ready for hunting season it is moose hunting season sheep deer and caribou got a little mini chest freezer this freezer is pretty cool it's got drawers in it they started getting this a year or so ago it is pretty cool for keeping your stuff really organized And then of course the Traeger for cooking your meat on. We have a Traeger. This is a wood fire pellet grill. It's amazing. Totally took our meat game up a notch. They're pretty spendy, $899.99, but changed our lives when we needed a new grill to get one of these. We love it. And of course they have to get their Christmas tree out early. They do have beautiful trees. I bought the eight foot one. Maybe a year ago, two years ago, I can't remember. It is a beautiful pre-lit tree. Very easy to put together and the lights are really nice. But it seems way too early. This is fun, a six pack of candles and you can like change the color of the lights. Got LED, $24.99 for six. Ooh, they have a heated luxury fur throw blanket for $29.99. It comes in this blue and gray and then I saw a, a taupe and white I have seriously considered getting a heated blanket the last couple years so I may have to snag one of those if you are new here my name is Lauren we are a hunting and fishing family living here in Anchorage Alaska we are a family of six and um, I like to do a lot of grocery shopping at Costco, but we do have meat and fish in the freezer at home, so I don't buy a lot of those things. But I like to show you kind of what our Alaska Costco has, our prices here, and things that you may want to look for at your own Costco. So thank you for coming shopping with me, and I just wanted to give you a quick little introduction in case you're new here. Our Costco has a bunch of their summer stuff tucked back here. 
on sale now, like a two-person backpacking tent, $59.97. You know if it ends in a 97, that it's on clearance, that they're trying to clear them out. They also have this little star. They got this six-person tent for $99.97. They're trying to clear out the summer stuff so that they can bring in the Christmas stuff. Christmas garland for $54.99. Christmas wreaths for $54.99. Christmas gift tags for $12.49. And we got some Christmas greeting cards. Oh, those are super cute for $12.99. Christmas ribbon for $7.99. And a Warvoski crystal ornament for $54.99. Looks like they're starting to get some of their kids' gifts in too. A Bluey Ultimate Mega Set. If you have Bluey fans in your house, little kids' VTech smartwatch for $39.99. Lots of different Lego sets. Oh, I've heard about this one. This is supposed to be a centerpiece for like Thanksgiving. $36.99 got 800 pieces in it. it actually look really pretty in the middle of a Thanksgiving table <laughs> I had read about that online so I was excited to see it Minecraft racing cars Ooh, these three-piece star set for $89.99 that's fun I have to be honest with you, I knew that the Christmas stuff was gonna be coming out soon. I wasn't quite prepared to be seeing it all today. Still wrapping my mind around fall and getting the kids into a schedule back to school, but I do feel like I am gonna blink and it is gonna be Christmas, so. It smells samples, something smells cinnamony. $3.29 for English muffins. $4.99 for some pitas. $8.59 for nine grain bread. $6.29 for 30 locally made tortillas. This is a company here in Anchorage. We do have a few locally made things here, but not a ton. Wheat bread, $6.99. $2.99 for bananas. These are 99 cents a pound. Honey crisp apples this week for $9.99 or $2.49 a pound. Non for $6.89. This was definitely a like a bread week. We have been completely out in the freezer and in the kitchen, so restocking on bread products. $7.99 for Bartlett pears. We're currently harvesting a lot of things out of our garden, so actually just went through that section without grabbing anything today. Hi! All right, I'm running into lots of friends telling them about the babies, so I gotta keep shopping. Getting some lemons for $8.99. I have a raspberry lemon recipe I wanna try. Chicken, $4.99. I'm not sure I'm gonna have energy for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna grab that. So half a ham, these are $2.99 a pound, so this is $12.71, we just cut it up ourselves. That's also good for like cubing up and putting on a salad or things, so grab some ham. Feta cheese, $7.49. $9.49 for some sliced Havarti. Pancake mix, $8.59. $16.99 for some bags of chips. 
I like making the boys breakfast sandwiches, but some mornings I'm just too tired. So these are on sale for $10.59 at a dollar each. Exactly. We're gonna try them. I prefer the hunk of ham, but the boys really like this on their sandwiches sometimes just for ease. So we're gonna grab some of this too and we'll freeze it at $9.59. $12.99 Mexican blend cheese. Thank you. Bars. These are super yummy. Very good. I'm not going to get them because we're making lots of treats lately with all of our raspberries. But just went through like the frozen meal section one more time because I'm like, Oh, it's nice to have some meals on hand right now, but nothing really was standing out to me. So we're just going to keep shopping. We ran out of homemade applesauce recently and I wanted to make a little bit more of raspberry fruit leathers. So $15.59 for a four pack of applesauce. It's been a long time since we bought applesauce, but I don't think that I'm processing apples this year. so gonna buy some just wasn't a great year for apples too cold not enough sunshine just like everything else thank you you're welcome eight nine eighty nine for the jar okay and you could... all right we're gonna try this olive salad Very strong flavor, but it's tasty. If you like olives, lots of different types of olives in there. Very salty. A little bit goes a long way. 11.39 for a two pack of pepperonis. This is on sale right now for $5 off, so I'm gonna grab one for $7.89. A lot cheaper than I bought it a few weeks ago. This is something I've never seen. Chocolate bark with M&Ms, $9.99. $17.99, some prenatal vitamins. These are the ones I've been taking. I'm almost out, so I've gotta restock. Oops. $22.99. The boys are doing cross country running and always want some sort of like bar or snack. So we'll grab some of these. I just feel like I'm struggling shopping today. My cart is not very full, but maybe that's what I need to do is smaller shopping trips. I don't know. I'm just not feeling very inspired, I guess. That's okay. Got lots of good food in the freezer that I'm trying to get through so that in case we get a moose in the next few weeks, we actually have some room in the freezer. But just making sure we have stuff to go with that. Feeling a little uninspired. I did run out of my collagen a little while ago, so I am gonna grab some of these. $21.99, I add them to my smoothies. Never seen this before. Dried sweet tamarind pods, $9.49. Sure, you guys know what that is, but very strange looking to me. I don't know, I've never had that before. Tell me about it down in the comments. Okay, here's our cart. I keep looking at other people's carts like, what am I missing? It's all the fresh veggies that I'm missing, but we still have them in our garden, so I'm really okay. Got some stuff down there. Let's go find a line to check out. So as I'm standing here looking at the food court, they've got quite a few new things lately. We've tried the mango smoothie. Mm, kind of on the fence about that. Had the rotisserie chicken Caesar salad. It was yummy. Um, there is a giant roast beef sandwich for $9.99. Haven't tried that yet. But they have added strawberry ice cream to the soft serve ice cream. So that is very new. I'll have to have some kids with me when I grab that. Oh, I so 
soaked too soon. It's raining now. Woo, let's do it. Well, we got the shopping done. I feel great today. Like, I'm entering second trimester in my pregnancy and I'm like, oh, I got some energy again. The kids are at school. And I don't know what the next five months of pregnancy is going to bring. So I'm just celebrating every time I can go and get the groceries that we need and feed my family for another week. So let's get home. I'll show you the haul, tell you the total of this week's grocery haul. Okay, I got all the groceries brought up. Miss Luna's here watching me. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, what's up? How are you today? Yeah. I decided to do our haul on the table today. It's kind of a smaller haul, but as I'm reflecting on it, we've got lots of veggies in the garden. We are up to our eyeballs in raspberries. Like we've picked like over 11 gallons. We've been making it into treats. We've been making jams. We've been freezing it. We've been freeze drying them. Everything we can think of making fruit leathers. We've been doing it. So lots of berries and we just need things to add to dinners. We got halibut, salmon, moose meat, steaks, all that kind of stuff. So we ended up with some pears, honey crisp apples, bananas, lemons, because I want to make some lemon raspberry cookies. Miss Luna is very talkative. Mexican style cheese, we really like this carved ham. Pepperoni, I don't know why I grabbed those, but I'm sure we'll make something out of them. The boys like them as a snack too. Havarti cheese. It has been a busy day of errands. I left the house at like 9.30 this morning. I'm now getting back. The boys are just like on their way home from school. So we're gonna make some chicken tacos for dinner because we forgot to get something out this morning. So when I saw those chickens, I thought we're gonna use them. Some feta crumbles and then some ham just for easier sandwiches for the boys. Uh, collagen, I like putting this in my smoothies, white pitas, tortillas, and non. We prefer this like very simple wheat bread for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then for like toast and breakfast and ham and cheese sandwiches, the boys prefer this nine grain bread. So we like to get a little bit of both. We do have room in the freezer to put some of this bread and tortillas and things so it doesn't go bad. I just thought we'd try these for breakfast. Some mornings I feel better than others and I'm able to get up and we're able to make breakfast as a family. Other days I'm not feeling so good. So just thought that would be a good option. And they were on sale. Grab some Z-bars, some pancake mix, some soups because they were on sale. Just nice to have on hand as we get into colder months. Some treetop applesauce, some chips for the boys' lunches and some prenatal vitamins. Really a smaller haul today, but I, if I'm being honest, I was kind of grateful because I'm by myself bringing them up. I don't have all my helpers here with me, so it was kind of nice just to have a small haul. Let me get the receipt and I'll tell you the total. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you what we made last night with our raspberries. Like, let me just show you. Let me show you. Show you. <sighs> made all this freezer jam from the raspberries we picked a couple nights ago. Got this pail full that I gotta do something with tonight. This pail full that I gotta do something with. And then I made these for a special dinner we had last night with my cousin. They are a shortbread raspberry streusel bar. I was like thinking about these the whole time. I was shopping at Costco. I will link the recipe that I used. So yummy. So, so yummy. Shortbread bottom, then raspberry preserve in the middle, which I just used raspberries that I had. And then a bunch of fresh raspberries and then a streusel on top. Just 
up to here in raspberries right now. Which is actually really great because last year we didn't get very many raspberries and it was really, I thought our, something was wrong with our patch. So I'm grateful to see that it can rebound and have a really plentiful year. We've been inviting lots of friends over to pick on top of all the stuff that we've picked. So it's always nice when we're able to share. Okay, now I'm gonna get the receipt. How much do you think we spent, Luna? Looks like kind of a short little receipt. Our total for today was $261.56. Cannot remember the last time I got out of Costco for under $300. So we're gonna call that a win. Thank you so much for shopping with me today. We are grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us. And we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life.